What's up guys, Single Player Nacho here with another short gaming mystery. Special thanks to Jotaku Joe for submitting this mystery in the comments. Regarding a strangely unique corpse found in the Spencer Mansion. Corpses aren't really special in Resident Evil games. In fact, it'd be weird not to find at least a hundred of them throughout. But this one in particular vanishes and isn't seen again. Upon examining the corpse, Chris or Jill states, there's a corpse collapse on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? The corridor that contains the corpse does have a strange obscurity to it. The chandelier dangles endlessly, a bird cage with the dead raven inside it, could this be the mansion's bird keeper? And bolted chains on the wall, possibly used to keep something or someone intact. Those are what little clues we have. Then at some point, the corpse is removed from the room. So how did this unnamed person die? An interesting tidbit is the player's comment on the corpse theorized to have died instantly. So. Maybe this guy wasn't killed, could he have poisoned himself during the outbreak, not wanting to become a zombie himself? This isn't exactly a new method of avoiding infection, in fact many have resorted to suicide throughout the game. Or was he killed so viciously that it happened extremely fast? When the corpse does disappear, crows flood the upper deck of the corridor. Okay, it, it's at this point that I have to say, what the hell is going on? This could be a subtle nod to the fact that infected crows pecked this poor guy to death after escaping their bondage. Those are a few explanations as to how this guy ended up there, but we still don't know why or how he disappears. I decided to conduct some gameplay tests to figure out at which exact point the corpse disappears. Does a door need to be accessed? Does an item need to be picked up? Or is it simply timed? It was a bit of a pain in the ass having to go all the way back to the same corridor after every little action I made. Open a door? had to go back, opened another door and had to go back, and still, nothing. I waited for a decent amount of time to see if it was in fact time based, and nothing. It wasn't until I placed the arrowhead on the tomb and picked up the sword key when, there it is, the corpse vanished and the crows flooded the corridor. Is this at all significant in trying to find out where the corpse headed to? Well for starters, the most probable explanation is that the corpse turns into a zombie and roams around in another part of the game. Now if it disappears by the time we get our hands on the sword key, any zombie we couldn't have had access to can't be the corpse zombie. So if the corpse does come back infected, it has to be one of the two zombies found before the sword key doors, the second floor zombie. This guy is quite literally a copy of the same model as dead guy but unfortunately the corpse is still in the corridor even upon getting to the second floor, so it's not him. Then there's Jump Scare Zombie, which isn't the same model, but even stumbling upon this douche, the corpse is still there. So there's no real way to pinpoint which zombie in the mansion is our vanishing corpse friend. It can literally be any of them, which is the most likely explanation, but as of now, it seems to be unsolvable. It's still an interesting aspect that isn't really explored in Resident Evil, a sort of paranormal situation, hell. This thing completely disappeared and isn't placed under a spotlight. There's no obvious explanation as to what happened to it. I wouldn't say it's a hallucination of some sort, but there's no definitive proof that the dead guy was actually infected. What happened to the disappearing corpse? Was he infected or not? Comment down below your thoughts as well as any suggestions for other mysteries. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, stay single.